All right, it's early. It is just before 7 a.m. Um, about to fire up the car. It's snowing. Well, it did snow last night here in Edmonton, Alberta. So I haven't driven my car yet in the snow this year. I drove it in the snow last year with really, really bad tires and all the camber and it was fine. So I'm hoping with the Zestinos it'll be just fine again since these tires are pretty damn good. So we'll see. I'm going to fire up the car, uh, set up a nice GoPro, and then we're going to head over to Tony's friend's house to load up his car on a trailer. Um, and then we're going to head down to Triple S. So stay tuned. So while I pull my car out of the garage, I wanted to take an opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Marco Tassoni, I'm 22 years old, and I've been drifting for three years. In 2015, I competed in Spec D's Western Canadian Amateur Drift Series, um, finished tied for first overall with Tim Jamiki, who's actually the manager at Triple S Motorsports, so you guys will be meeting him pretty shortly. 2016, there was no amateur series, so I just kind of ran a lot of practices for seat time. And then coming into 2017 this year, I ran the Spec D Pro-Am Formula Drift Pro 2 Licensing Series. Starting at the beginning of the season, I was fortunate enough to, have, to be sponsored by G-Spec Suspension. And then I was also lucky to be sponsored by Zestino Tires Canada, who make extremely affordable tires meant for drifting. And they're just such a great price and last forever and have such a great amount of grip for the setup that I was running. Before round two of the season, I unfortunately suffered an engine failure that took me out of round two. And at that point, I was forced to do my first full rebuild on a spare SR that I had laying around at the time. I was actually lucky enough to get sponsored by Triple S Motorsports at that time. And they helped me out with all kinds of things like expertise, a bunch of awesome parts that went into the car, as well as some tuning. My best finish of the season was actually at round five. First practice run of the day, I had rounded the first corner, just getting ready to initiate drift kicked the clutch and blew my transmission so we slaved for two hours we had the new transmission back in the car just in time for qualifying so with no practice I qualified 12th place and then pretty much had a one more time battle with everyone right into the top four where I ended up finishing in third place so that was my best finish of the year pretty stoked on that and that finish as well as the rest of my season had me at the end of the year finishing in ninth place overall as well as being second place overall for rookie points behind Colton Curtis. So we fast forward to the present. We're now in the off season of 2017, late November. And just to kind of explain to you guys what's going on, why this YouTube channel exists and what we're gonna do. Um, you ought to know the guys that run this channel um, do a great job of providing a live stream for the Spec D Drift Series. Um, so they wanted to kind of sponsor some drivers, help them out with their social media campaigns as well as growing their personal brands and Triple S Motorsports wanted to continue their relationship with me. So the three of us parties banded together along with Tony Kosh, who you are gonna be meeting. He's the voice of Spec D, a great driver in the amateur series that also wants to um, kind of build a new program for next year. We're all getting together to create this YouTube channel where we're going to showcase how, you know, it's possible to do drifting on a low budget. It's definitely feasible. We're going to allow you guys to follow us along with our builds. So I'm building or rebuilding the car that was Formula Drift Spec D Pro-Am ready. And my goal is to have that car competitive enough, competitive enough that I could actually obtain a Formula Drift Pro 2 license here in the near future. So we're all getting together um, to create this YouTube series, show you guys some awesome content over the off season, you know, show you some of the cool projects and the cool cars that, that come into Triple S Motorsports as long as some of their awesome shop car builds and some of the fun things that we all get to do together. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, follow us along. We're gonna have weekly uh, weekly uploads between Tony and myself. So you're gonna see a lot of cool content, whether it's us working on our cars, us showing some of the cool things that we get to do in the off season, maybe some footage from last year. And then once the actual season comes around, we're gonna be vlogging a lot of the events and demos that we do, including the Edmonton Motor Show, those sorts of things. So you guys can follow us along for the 2018 season of Specty Drifting. All right, it's extremely sketchy out here. I almost didn't make it out of my area because it's a bit of an uphill and the car was basically driving at full lock <laughs> the whole uphill. But uh, yeah, we're moving now. The good thing is generally on these first snowfalls is that the snow doesn't stick to the ground all that well. So if you look around me, it's kind of like, you know, there's like no snow on the roads. It's almost as if it just rained. So, it's gonna be doable.
trucks here. So we are gonna load up Tony's car, and then we're gonna head down to Triple S together. It's nice and light out now, so I can actually see. All right, we dollied her onto the ramp, thanks to Nick from Hands Towing and Deck Services. Fabricated a dolly system, and it worked. Way easier than we thought it was going to. Thanks to Nick. Woo, we made it. Um, well, almost. Shop's right there. So hopefully we made it. It's the last turn. It was a pretty sketchy ride. At first it wasn't too bad. And then I hit a curb pretty hard. Um, no damage, I mean, car still drove relatively straight, so that's always good. Um, but yeah, this is the shop, it's Triple S Motorsports, we have arrived. Make sure to give this video a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and come along for the ride in 2018. Cause you like